Okay, today's video is another video for momentum and elastic collisions, and this is the fifth example that we're going to do. And this one is really exciting because we have a ball with a mass of four kilograms and a velocity of five meters per second, and it collides with a second ball that has a mass of six kilograms. And that mass is moving in the opposite direction with a velocity of minus five meters per second. So it's moving in the opposite direction. It has a speed of five meters per second. So that's a velocity of minus five meters per second. Moving in the opposite direction. One's moving in the positive direction, one moving in the negative direction. And we want to know what is the velocity of each of those after that perfectly elastic collision. So I like to, first of all, because I got two masses and two velocities, and I'm easily confused, I like to write them down. So m1 is four kilograms. v1 initial, the initial velocity of mass number one is five meters per second. And for m2, it's six and minus five. And then let's make a picture because we want to know what is the, the final velocity of number one and the final velocity of number two. And you can see we have two masses. They're moving in opposite directions. They're moving towards each other, and they're going to have a perfectly elastic collision. And we want to know what is the final velocity of each of those. And we're going to do that right now because we wrote everything down. We're going to get out our equations. We have two equations. They look a little complicated, but by this time, it shouldn't be too much. Shouldn't be too much complicated. Shouldn't be too complicated. And this is the equation we use to get the final velocity of the first mass, and this is the equation we use to get the final velocity of the second mass, mostly just adding, subtracting the masses, and then multiplying times the velocities. And we're going to do the first one first. So this is the final velocity of mass number one, and we're just going to plug our values in, make sure we do our math and our algebra right. It's just m1 minus m2, which is four minus six. We add those two together and we multiply the initial velocity of mass number one, which is five. And then we have to remember to use our negative sign because the initial velocity of mass number two is in the opposite direction, which is negative. So we have two times six divided by the sum of the two, 10 multiplied by minus five. Okay, this is times five and this is times minus five. And for each of those, you'll see you get negative terms because this is negative because 4 minus 6 is minus 2, which is a negative number, times 5 is 10 divided by 10 minus 10. No, minus 1. That's what that is, minus 1. And we can do the same thing over here. And we also get a negative term for a different reason because now we have a minus 5, which is the initial velocity of mass number 2. And therefore, we add those two negative numbers together and we get... That mass number one is moving now in the negative direction. It was moving the positive direction, moving in the negative direction. So it bounces off, as you might ex expect, with a velocity or a speed of seven meters per second in the negative direction, which is to the left in this case. All right, so that is the final velocity of mass number one. Now we're going to do the final velocity of mass number two. We have a similar situation, similar equation, not the exact same equation, but similar idea. Plug our terms in. 2 times uh, 4 is 8, times 5, 8 times 5 is 40, divided by 10 is 4, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now, don't forget once again that this is negative here, so we this time we're going to have a positive term here and a negative term over here, and you can see we get 4, as we said, plus minus 1, okay, because this is uh, 6 minus 4 is 2, times minus 5 is a minus 10 divided by 10 is minus 1, and that means that mass number 2, which was moving to the left, is now moving to the right with a speed of 3 meters per second. Okay, so it is nice when uh, what you think is going to happen actually turns out right in your mass. The direction of the two objects is has changed, and they're moving in the opposite direction they originally were. All right, so there you go. Um, we had the final velocity of mass number 1 is minus 7. The final velocity of mass number two is three, and this nice, nice to draw a little picture again since we have a second here. And you can see they just bounce each other off each other and move in the opposite directions like that. Okay, so there you go. I hope you found that helpful. Uh, if you did, please do all the following four things. Four things. Don't forget all four of these things. Do all four of these things. Subscribe to my channel. Get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Thumbs up for this video. A nice positive comment in the comment section below. And don't forget, as I mentioned before, I think I mentioned this in the last video too, sharing is caring. Share this video with all of your friends. And that's right. Show them 
how much you care. It is the holiday season. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.